check, chickity check, check, two, 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 Mike. So I hadn't really gotten into um, the dozen dames, and last time I counted on the list, I think I got, I think I got like five. I think I think I was neglecting to respect the older older females in the dozen dames. There's I think there's five that start at 87 and go to 97, maybe six, and then the other half work back to 1980. Um, the thing is, is about the older ones is they were generally they were they were set up by um, my granddad who was in the FBI for 40 years, or my grandpa who was in the Navy for 40 years, and uh, the president of uh 1996 and uh year 2001 clinton and bush jr right they they well every year the president comes to the coast guard academy in new london city see when when, when you're a decorated agent of the federal bureau of investigation of 40 years and you want to bring your grandson to see the president they're more that they're more than allowing for for su for such a for for such an action to take place there for for such for such an event to take place so first it was granddad and he said i'm retiring from the bureau or i'm i'm freshly retired i'm using my last little bit of stature before i'm a you know a retired senior citizen so, um, to to bring my grandson to meet mr clinton bill clinton and of course i was a little too small i think i said hi and maybe like uh, maybe hug the by hug the the knee or something i was only 6 7 8 9 years old when when i was when i was visiting him when he was visiting the city and that was only for a day in may um so then then uh, bush jr come along and i was 10 uh, or i was 11 so so i remember may 2001 you know bitter and uh so so the thing is is under the clintons is uh, i'd be sent along to go play with chelsea and then with 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 the bush jr as president i'd be sent along to go play with pierce well the old folk discuss uh discuss and discuss you know the man and power commander in chief and then you know the decorated navy admiral or the decorated uh, uh, uh the, the agent of the bureau um uh we, we were considered about the same age you know considering they had no position of power their parent was the president i had no position of power and then looking at my grandparents and well then looking at my dad's position in the grateful dead from 1987 to 1995 as a band member not a front man not a front man a band member a sound assistant one of the one of the 500 bears bears to work sound um bear stanley's bears there to work to work sound they wear the steal your face or not and uh wires and speakers and make sure that the consummate digi electrics are going to be in full effect uh spared no expense set from 87 to 95 so so that so i have a few pictures i have a picture of uh of uh dad with uh, dad with uh brent and i have a picture of dad playing bass next to jerry it was enough evidence for me until uh, i got one of uh i think it was a two, 2010 or a 2011 a picture of dad took a bear uh, a bear took a dad in uh in New haven while my brother was just freshly recovered or uh still injured and uh, that 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 that's another long prolonged story about how we were in cahoots with John Mayer. Uh, we we uh, John John happened to be at New Haven School of Music, uh, uh, Yale University campus. Um, well, my brother was in sort of drifting in and out of a coma, and uh, you know thought that that he might die. And John uh, was more than willing to save a life if only he could be paid back in return somehow. Said used his Wonderland money to, to help fix uh, a, a dying child uh, in return um, uh, for, this, for this sort of gimmick, this sort of, yeah, nah, -uh. oh, that can't be right, you know, because, you know, he was an unknown band member. So Bob dials up Jerry and uh, uh, Jerry's, you know, answering machine or something, long prolonged story. Somehow Bob Weir comes along and uh and those two get in cahoots and those two are still in cahoots today as far as i can tell they're doing another four shows this 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 fall for the dead and company i hope to see him at madison square garden um and uh the uh the, the, the 20th of i think the 21st of this month and just in less than a week i'm seeing carlos santana in hartford my last show i think was like past march and I saw Melvin Seals and the Jerry Garcia band at Fairfield. It was I got nice and close like I always do. Uh, sorry, Miss Phil's birthday again. I know I've been invited for close to 30 years now. Whenever he's on the East Coast, I get the invite to his birthday for the past three decades, pretty much. Um, 
but uh you know i've i've attended you know what uh over over a dozen of those and i i i like getting close quarters i saw melvin last october as well uh, enough about that so uh, more about how Brent Midland held me in his arms just month before he passed away from an acute overdose of narcotics in California so, pledging his life to this new baby birth that would be uh, raised by the band and well Jerry passed away shortly later I guess in my eyes considering that may have been LSD in the baptism water and you know bounced around all sorts of what's it's and strange eats you never know um, so, so uh, if if to say that character did exist, you know, from the, uh, from the birth announced to six hundred thousand people to the front and center of GDP home movies, uh, until the passing of Bren, until the passing of Jerry, and then everything's you know put put set aside and kind of you know looked over because the music never stopped, and uh, you know he wasn't old enough to join the band when he was he he had an, a hit injury from junior civil service. Uh, he was a he was a good cop, medic, fire, uh, coasty, and navy until you know he was testing the fields at a, over 18 or simply on vacation in New York City. Set when he got a little bit of a boo boo, put him off his feet 10 to 15 years, doctor uh, doctor's orders. So I get off the script in about uh, six months. In six months, I'll, I'll I'll have no meds left in my system. I think this January I'll have no meds left in my system. Set. So he needs friends, and we were going along uh, uh, when I was shooting the breeze back with Squirrely at uh, uh, Scarlet's, Scarlet's Tavern there, just a 15-minute run from here, which is a uh, coincidence, of or the, which, which that 15-minute run from here is a 15-minute run to the Fort Trumbull Nuclear Submarine parking spot. And I mentioned my focus in ages 4 through grade 12, or ages 4 to 18, was to be a submarinist in a, a submarine taxi in, in a non-war situation not a navy military submarine pilot but like a a, a taxi driver for civilian scholars and uh, uh scientists to go to the long island underwater sound the long island uh, under the long island sound research base where they developed ping in the 40s and and what's it uh uh, 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 uh moving along he needs friends so he picked uh uh, uh, chicks he found, I think it starts with, there would be Keelan in 87, uh, then I think a Daisy in 94, or a nine, Daisy Ridley in 93, uh, let's see, Hale C in 94, uh, with Piper Perry, which is a 95, and a Monet Weir is a 1997. Somewhere in the 90s, uh, mixed in is, a uh, Mackenzie Davis, I forget. And you know, the, the, I don't think the bond through the force, you know, is really as strong as uh, the rest of them, whom I happen to have personal flesh-to-flesh -flesh experience with. I'm talking a handshake here, says, and uh, or uh, within an arm's reach, uh, ten-foot pole at the very least. And so, so there was that, and then there was, you know, the the two chicky things I mentioned before. But uh, they're they're considered the older lasts, and I was hoping to you know not go much before uh, 87. In this in this past round of dozen dames, I was hoping to uh, take a dive and not score all 12. So so there was those two. Uh, hmm, six, seven. I think I got, I think I got about an eight out of 12 this this round as far as playing memory in a dozen dames with the same old characters, Harishimo from Scarlet's Bar, and this new adapt uh, a new newly adopted uh, Opal Group and Opal Group and uh, he's a she, with the dies for eyes. It says, a World War II is a splendid distraction from uh, the my experiences after the crash of Manhattan and uh, the explosion at the Pentagon. Swell said, so, um, not that I was there, but I do have a family friend that was in my Manhattan Public Library. So. This last, this last, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I happened to be on uh, State Street eating breakfast at the soup kitchen, which was part of a church, St. James. Then I went across to buy a comic book. I was in process of buying when they saw on TV, uh, the, the Manhattan's thing was on TV. And uh, so, so, so we, uh, and that's, that's a different story. It locks me up in 2002 as being, you know, protected along with the Navy admirals and the ICBMs. Uh, active guns and bombs and soldiers and hand grenades and all sorts of anything, everything we saw no firefights that year. So, uh, so the Mardi Gras tie-dye explains that's that that's a that's a third story that jumps from 19, 
40 something where grandpa got on the boat after the draft of world war ii with his baby brother and uh the the boat was the submarine that left new london city and went all the way to the great bay of china to witness the surrender of japan after the atomic bombs and then drove the same dang submarine all the way back to new london city except without his without his brother gramps did with, with without his brother he slipped and fell in long island sound never lived the extra 50 years in the navy never got to shake hands never got the congressional medal of honor never 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 so sometimes life is just that fragile and on the other on the other end of the spectrum you know you get to you get to conquer uh, the ww2s by ending the german holocaust then whatever hitler's third reich by showing true american power on japan uh, only to be defeated by old age just after uh, the very beginning of, of the WW3s. So, very sad to say. So I'm, I'm in the slums. Step into the slums. Living in Great Depression. Um, because we've donated as family whatever riches to uh, the powers that be. And then have decided to settle with strife. Until they just come back magically in the mail. Or we, we, it's been 11 years and we haven't seen no returns, uh, 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 monetary as far as pocket spending, or 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 uh, you know why would we have the money in the first place? Well, I mentioned the back of the back, the furthest parking lot, all the way up to the front of the front of the stage, giant stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, you know there was 500,000 people live, pulled on stage, spent two weeks in the band, did Nightfall of Diamonds with Brennenberg Arena. Um, the Grateful Dead stayed, stayed as a band member until 1995, yes, but on my mom's side, there was Mohegan Shaman John the Bull, which is on the face of the Mohegan playing cards. There's an endangered race, the Leno Lenape race, um, and they broke into tribes. There's the Pequots and the Mohegans, most notably. If you'll notice, the Mohegans, they have a gambling reservation, and on the gambling reservation, they have their own deck of cards, and one of the face cards is John the Bull. Well, it was John Hyde, my great grandfather. Although I'm only 12.5% Mohegan, um, he was a he was a 100% Mohegan uh, uh, who married my great grandmother for a stint, or at least had uh, my granny with 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 her, whose last name was Hoffman. Uh, she was Albert Hoffman's first cousin. Lived with him in the same family, in the same commune in Switzerland from 1908 when she was born till 1930-something. Call, call, she called him uh, uh, her brother and vice versa for about 30 years until they were separated by the Nazi party. They, re, they, re got, they, they re reconnected in the, in the 1980s when uh, the Grateful Dead was able to, and other things, you know, censor, bleep, bleep, not much time, running out of reel. And they, they talked all throughout my life, 1990 to 2008. Albert passed first, and then Phoebe just a little bit while later. Um, so I'm still mourning my parrot. I think that's enough of a talk show. Check, check, chickity check, check, check. Three, two, one.